it's Pubmeister, and today I'm hanging out by my beehives because I figured it's time to make a bee house. I've got my shears out, and I am collecting honeycomb. Now, there's a couple reasons why I want to collect honeycomb before we do this build. Number one, Honeycomb helps you build beehives, which are the ones on top here. The bee nests, well, they spawn naturally in our environment. So we're going to need lots of beehives because we are going to be propagating <laughs> bees, making lots of little baby bees, just like this one. And one of the other reasons I am collecting lots of honeycomb is because if you put four together, you get a honeycomb block. And I've got some yellow concrete, and I'm going to make a bunch of honeycomb blocks. And that's just to make the building bee friendly, if you know what I mean. Uh, making it kind of look... Bee-ish. <laughs> that is a thing. So let's get started. Okay, so we started the base, and again, like I said, I'm using yellow concrete. Um, I think I'll be making a video on how to make concrete, color it, all that kind of stuff coming up. But for now, uh, I'm going to use this as the base. Um, I'm like I said, I'm trying to give it that B sense, so to speak. So I'm using the yellow concrete. And then I'm going to put a row of glass in. Now, a lot of this is going to be, um, the beehives are going to be in front of the glass a lot of the time. But I'm going to put glass in anyway. It gives us a chance to peek in if we need to. There we go. And we want to throw a door in there, just like that. Now, because there's no villagers out here, I don't have to worry about any kind of villagers getting in there. So I can just use the regular door. And then I would like to use a row of honeycomb. Let's see what it looks like from the front. I think that looks good. Maybe I'll uh, get that. And I'll keep the corners yellow like that, just to give it a little something different like that. I think that looks good. And of course, I'm going to need a lot more honeycomb. And I just collected some. I've got 12. Um, oh, I see. Oh. You never know where it's going to spit out. <laughs> now, the reason I can do this without getting attacked is because I have a campfire underneath, which creates smoke. And the bees are a little more docile when they are in smoke, just like in real life. So I can collect away without them turning red, their eyes that is, without their eyes turning red and coming after me to sting me. And remember, if a bee stings you, it dies. Let's see how many we can make. Five more. It's going to take a lot of collecting of these honeycomb before we have enough to go all the way around. So, but that's kind of what it's going to look like. So that's kind of cool. I could even throw, you know, this almost looks like glowstone to some extent. 
I could even put some glowstone here and there uh, to light things up. That might be an idea as well. Hmm. I think we have a good start. Of course, how big you make it is completely up to you. I think for now, maybe I'll just throw a couple torches in here and there. As long as there's no spots where there's zero light, which I don't think anymore. So in this case, I'm putting flowers in the middle. I'm going to have um, the beehives and nests all along the side here. And they can come out and get their flowers here. And if I want to expand, I can always put another row on the other side and even on this side. So there's tons of room uh, for more bees. Now, if by chance you want uh, your crops to grow, grow quicker, maybe because you need more food, maybe because you want to use it to trade with villagers, whatever the case, when you have bees flying over your crops and they're dropping, I guess they're all asleep right now, pollen, well, the pollen acts like bone meal on your crops. So they will grow a lot faster. You can see him dropping some of the pollen there. So if you had crops here, it would be like bone mealing them and they would grow faster. So if you wanted to do something like that, I would put all the beehives on one side, your crops all in the middle, and the flowers on the other side. And then they have to go back and forth to the flowers and the beehives. So that's what I would do in that particular case. I'm not putting any crops in because, well, I don't really need them. <laughs> So I will get on collecting more of the honeycomb. And again, you need some shears to get the honeycomb. And if you want honey, you need a glass bottle, which I don't have right now. And you can make honey blocks as well. And I do have some honey blocks, but um, I'm not sure I'm gonna use honey blocks in this particular build. I think that looks pretty decent so far. And then I think I might use some yellow stained glass for the roof. We'll see. While I'm waiting to collect more of these honeycombs, I thought, why not start the process already? And that'll be into the corner. That should be good. So the reason I'm digging these holes is because I'm going to put the campfires down in here. And that way you don't have to like build things around them like you see there. You can just put the hives on top. So I've got my silk touch pickaxe here and I'm going to, well, I think first I'll harvest more of the honeycomb. Oh, flew down here. And I think I'll grab these two. Okay, and then in fact, maybe I can grab that as well, might as well. And maybe I can start making some extra hives already because the more hives, the quicker I'm going to be able to get my honeycombs. See, so now they can just sit there. It's just like they're sitting there. Um, and you can collect without getting attacked. So that's why I'm putting those underground like that. We've already got bees going back in there. Let's move them all over. Why not? Uh, 
And there may be bees in here, I'm not sure. <laughs> but at least this way, they're already starting. I mean, it's gonna be a while before I get enough of a honeycomb. So I might as well do what I can and start putting some in here. And then I can start uh, breeding them as well. They've kind of all disappeared during my move here. It's upsetting them. It's upsetting the bees, the whole movement. I can get rid of these guys. I can clean up this other stuff. There's a bee. Oh, there's a bunch starting to come out. And then maybe, let's see, I don't have any with me. I can come over here. Grab a couple flowers. And maybe I can breed a couple more. So let's see here. You and you. There we go. And there's another little baby bee. Isn't that lovely? A flower to each. Helps them breed. Oh, and we've already got some of the hives being full. So I think I'm gonna build a couple more here. Maybe I'll just for now, very quickly, stick a crafting table over here. And I believe it's been a while, but I believe that creates a hive, yep. So let's make two more. And then We'll have even more bees, just like that. And we just gotta keep breeding them and breeding them and breeding them until there's tons. So these homes or bee houses, I guess, are a great idea for a number of reasons. I mentioned the crops before, uh, but one other good reason is because Sometimes bees tend to wander off. And when they wander off, well, sometimes they never come back and you lose bees. So when they are in an enclosed area, they won't be wandering off on you and you won't lose, hopefully, as many bees. Now it's always a good idea, uh, maybe at night when all the bees are in the hives, to grab a hive that's full of bees and store it in a chest somewhere. So that if by some chance, for some reason, all your bees leave or die on you, you can just go grab that hive, put it back, and then you'll have three or minimum two maybe if you didn't get a full hive, and you can start breeding them again and bring them all back. So it's a good idea to have that extra hive handy. Now, if you want to see how close your hive is to producing or being full of honey, you just have to hit F3 and point at the hive. And then on the right, you can see targeted block and it says honey level four. So the next time a bee comes out of here, it will be full. And remember, they turn full when the, when the bees leave, not when they go in. So this is honey level one, honey level three, honey level three, honey level zero, <laughs> honey level three, honey level three, honey level zero, zero, honey level three, honey level three, and honey level zero. 
So a lot of them are getting pretty close to being full again. I decided I didn't want to hold the campfires, so I had some extra trap doors over there, so I thought I might as well just throw them in and protect the bees with the trap doors, and then they're ready to go. So I have been breeding them a lot, as you can tell. Look at all the little baby bees over here. And um, I don't want them to wander. Look at this. Look at them all. <laughs> I don't want them to wander too far. Wow, look at that. Talk about a swarm. Come on in here, guys. And try to stay in here, man. I know I don't have a roof on here yet or anything. But, you know... Try, try to stay, try to stay. See, when there is a roof on here, all these bees will be staying here. And we wanna make it a little higher. So once I get this row of honeycomb on, um, I think I might do one more row of yellow concrete on top of that and then start making a roof. And I think my roof is going to be sort of in a pyramid shape, sort of like, like a house. So it's not going to be flat across. It's going to be up in the middle because you want to give the bees as much flying space as you possibly can. So you don't want to make it really shallow for them. And a lot of these are, oh, did that? I actually went outside. So we're getting there. I've got 17. I can make a bunch of blocks again. It just takes a long time. Such a long time. Okay, so I have all of my honeycomb blocks now. There's the last one going in there, and we've got the yellow concrete in. And now I'm starting to put the yellow stained glass in for the roof, and I'm slowly going to build it up. So the next one is going to be here, but one higher, if you know what I mean. And then I think the front, I'm going to make solid for now, but I think I may open it up with some yellow stained glass in the middle. That will be a work in progress, so to speak. Just wanted to make sure I saw a creeper here earlier. <laughs> and, you know, don't want to go there, so. All right, and then yellow concrete here. And then, of course, the stained glass goes right in here. Like that. All right, so we're getting there. We've got a bunch of the glass on already. And we're just continuing. Uh, ooh, look at that zombie villager and a creeper. So this is how we're just kind of continuing here. And what I'm talking about um, before, as far as the glass is concerned, I'm building it up on the side here and I've gone three high on that side already. So at some point, I'm just thinking in here we'll put glass instead of instead of it being solid but um I guess we'll wait and see and here we are putting the last finishing touches on our roof I think I'm high enough now 
So I'm just going to make it flat across the top here for the last little bit. But uh, we're quite a ways up already, so I think that's plenty of space for the bees to do their thing. And we'll just fill this in. It's like that. Oh, need more. Hopefully we'll have enough here. I might have to go get more glass. Oh no. Get my silk touch. Every piece is necessary here. Can't waste any. Ooh, there we go. All right, so the roof is completely on. Everything's done here. I'm just gonna get rid of these two pieces. Be good to fill that in. And we have a big central window like that. And I think I'm gonna have to move this door so it's in the center, just so it looks decent. Because right now it's off to the center and it's just not doing it for me. And it's probably not doing it for you either. <laughs> so I'm going to move it over. And when I adjust all this, um, maybe I'll put a solid one in each corner. Something like that to give it a little character maybe. Like there, 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 and there and then fill the rest with glass, which I'm also gonna have to get. And when I'm done all that, I'll be back. And here we come approaching our bee house. And this is the finished product. We'll take a look at the front. I think that looks a lot better. And we got quite a few bees in here. I think they're all in their nests at the moment. But I brought lots of bottles so I can collect all kinds of honey. Look at that. 11 bottles of honey. Which can also make honey blocks, which are great for honey block elevators and all kinds of other things, I guess, for decoration too. We could have used some honey blocks in here, but I just decided against it. And I've got uh, a full row of beehives. I don't think they're all um, full of bees yet, so I could, I could certainly breed more. Okay, we're back and we have some flowers so we can certainly get some more bees going here. Maybe you and you. There we go, another one. Getting quite a few in here. I don't know how many. I think I've read most of them. There's that one there. Any others? Are you? How about you? No? How about you? You're new. There you go. Find the other one. There we go. Excellent. So we're getting quite a few bees in here. And I know there's even more in the hives at the moment. But this, I think, is a great bee house, for lack of a better bee sanctuary, should we call it that? <laughs> but I think it's got great color as far as the bees are concerned. Lots of light. We've got the st yellow stained glass for the roof. There's lots of height here, so lots of room for them to fly around, lots of space. And like I said, I can always put another set of beehives on this side. Or if I ever decide to, I can put the flowers on this side and put more crops in the middle so they grow so much faster. So I've got my bee family around me. I want to thank you so much for watching. 
And I hope you learned a lot today. Don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you soon. Bye for now.